Hello, nice to meet you again, and welcome to Kata News of Kinto Radio and Television Station. Has start today. Legislators such a deal to discuss in groups the trap law on protection in consumer rights revised and the trap e transaction law revised on November 2nd. The Vietnam International Agriculture Fair 2022 has just opened at Kinto Investment Trade Promotion and Exhibition Center. The opening ceremony of the Southern Folk Songs Festival in Qatar City. Top news on November 2nd, at the ongoing fourth session of the 15th National Assembly, legislators are scheduled to discuss in groups the trap law on protection of consumer rights revised and drop e transaction law revised. The drafting of the e-transaction law revised is expected to cut with problems related to e-transactions and ensure transparency, security and safety on cyberspace and set time and cost for organizations and individuals in the implementation of e-transactions. The building of the law on protection and consumer rights revised aims to institutionalize the party and stage policies on completing the institution regarding the consumer's rights protection and dealing with shortcomings arising after the 12-year implementation of the existing law. The Vietnam International Agricultural Fair 2022 has just opened on the morning of November 2nd at Kanta Investment Trade Promotion and Exhibition Center. Attending was Philippines Ambassador Maynardo L.B. Manteclacri, Concerned Generals of India and Indonesia in Ho Chi Minh City. Opening speech, Chairman of Kung Thu City's People's Committee, Trung Vic Trung, said that the 2022 Vietnam International Agriculture Fair held in Kung Thu City to promote agricultural industry to continue developing sustainably. At the same time, it will be an effective connection to an important trade promotion channel, facilitating localities, economic organizations and businesses to seek business cooperation opportunities and expand consumption markets and export agricultural products. The fair will take place from today until the end of November the 6th with more than 250 stores of more than 100 units and businesses from the 20 provinces and cities of Vietnam and other countries, such as Indonesia, Philippines, Cambodia, Korea, India, etc. Products and services are introduced and displayed, including machinery, equipment, agricultural materials, production lines, agro-industrial processing, post-harvest preservation techniques, and regional specialities. In addition, there are many specialized conferences, workshops, and many other programs. On the afternoon of November 2nd, Kentucky Department of Science and Technology how to workshop on applied technology for sustainable urban agricultural development with the participation of a lot of students of Kentucky University. Workshop with the desire to have an overview of the situation of urban agricultural development in Kentucky City, in that light, they provide technological solutions, equipment, and suitable models for the conditions of the city to develop urban agriculture in a sustainable direction. The workshop was attended by lecturers of Kenta University who shared their research experiences, and some companies introduced technological solutions to support agriculture, promoting digital agricultural platforms and agricultural IoT solutions. We turn to other news. On the morning of November 2nd, the working delegation of the Vietnam Red Cross Society, led by Mr. Trung Si Kha, standing member of the Committee for Social Work, Disaster Management of Vietnam Red Cross Society, had a meeting with Kenta Red Cross Society, aims to share model experiences and natural disaster risk reduction solutions based on nature in the city. In the first nine months of the year, Kung Thu Red Cross Society coordinated to visit, encourage and support money and gifts for 10 households damaged by rain and thunderstorms in Godo and Thai Lai districts with the amount of 22 million Vietnam dong. The delegation came to visit with gifts to 11 households affected by storm number 4 in the amount of 12 million Vietnam dong in Tung Thanh commune, Thai Lai district. Besides, 
Kung Thơ Red Cross Society has implemented campaigns to respond to the call of Vietnam Red Cross Society supporting flood in the central region. Mr. Trung Si Kha, standing member of the Committee for Social Work, Disaster Management of the Vietnam Red Cross Society, appreciated the task of prevention and response to natural disasters in the city areas. Kung Thơ Red Cross Society always combines three stages prevention, respond, and recovery after natural disasters, with a motto for on-the-spot, on-the-spot command, on-site forces, on-site vehicles, and on-site logistics. On the morning of November 2nd, Ho Chi Minh University of Architecture Gunter Training Center held the opening ceremony for the 2022-2023 academic year. Mr. Nguyen De King, Vice Chairman of Gunter City People's Committee, came for attendance. This school year, Ho Chi Minh University of Architecture Kang Thơ Training Center has 135 students enrolled in three training majors, namely civil engineering, construction architecture, and interior decoration. Ho Chi Minh University of Architecture Kang Thơ Training Center has trained more than 2,000 full-time technicians. On the afternoon of November 2nd, Kansas City Youth Union Council of Pioneer Team of Kansas City, in collaboration with Kansas Department of Education and Training, held the opening ceremony of training class on the Pioneer Team and Children's Movements for 230 teachers as the general managers of the Pioneer Team at primary and secondary schools in the city more to follow. The training course took place from November 2nd to 4th with the following topics implementing the 2016 law on children, improving children's rights to participate in children's issues, guiding the implementation of the training program for pioneer team members in the period 2018-2022, training skills in organizing activities and collective activities according to regulations and so on, through a training course to improve professional skills, focusing on practical skills to pioneer teamwork for teachers who are teachers as the general managers of the pioneer team, great conditions for staff in charge of the pioneer team, general managers of the pioneer team to strain models and experiences contributing to the development of the pioneer team's organization and the growing children's movement. On the evening of November 1st, Gente Department of Culture, Sports and Tourism held the opening ceremony of the Sun and Fox Songs Festival in Gente City. Mr. Nguyen Thu King, Vice Chairman of Gente City People's Committee, attended. Forty musicians and 160 actors from the culture, sports and radio center of nine districts in the area performed 47 acts in various genres of music and instrumental ensembles. Content praised the party and Uncle Hall, the homeland, the example of good people with good deeds and achievements in building the country in general and Kung Thơ City in particular. The festival aims to introduce and promote the quintessential values of various cultural and artistic forms through folk songs and traditional ethnic musical instruments of the southern region. The festival takes place from November the 1st and the awards closing ceremony is on the evening of November the 4th. And now, a quick check on weather condition. That's all for Canada News of Gento Radio and Television Station. Thanks so much for your attention. Please visit us on our website, gentv.vn. Bye for now.